So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a SATA SSD to your MacBook. Now this will work for any MacBook that's got USB-C on it or Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4. And the way that we do that is to use this cable here by Cable Matters. On one end of the cable, we have got the SATA power and data connectors. And on the other end of the cable, we have got the USB-C connection, which is also compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. And we simply connect the SATA end of the cable to the SATA SSD and then connect the USB-C end of the cable to an available USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 or 4 port on the MacBook. And once the SSD has been connected to the MacBook and as long as the format of the SSD is something that the MacBook will understand, it will appear on the desktop here as this one has and then I can just double click on that and now I can read and write to this SSD with whatever data that I want to. Now a couple of things worth mentioning here and the first thing is the speed of the SSD once it is connected to the Mac. Now basically the SSD will run at whatever its maximum speeds are for reading and writing and the reason for that is is because this particular USB-C to SATA cable adapter this operates at 10 gigabits per second and this is much faster than any SATA SSD so basically the read and the write speeds are going to be down to the maximum that the actual SSD does support within itself and just to reiterate the point once again about Thunderbolt this particular cable is obviously USB-C to SATA however Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 both support the data protocols that USB-C uses so you can definitely connect this to a Thunderbolt device and this video is evidence of that because I am using a MacBook Pro M1 Max which uses Thunderbolt 4 connections. Now if this video has been useful to you please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on that bell notification icon to be notified of similar videos to this in the future and there will also be Amazon links in the video description below for what I have used in this video. Anyways, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.